pledging our descendants to Satan, uh, those that have bargained their descendants, their children and grandchildren. I have dealt uh, with quite a few of these uh, folks recently, and these these are total victimizations. And so because these people were not dark and they weren't raised necessarily without love, there is great hope here. They have been cursed by a grandparent and or a parent and they the ones that I have dealt with have, have been real fighters and, and real inspirations for breaking through and changing their patterns and their genetic propensities in, in order to make their own mark in, in a lighted path. And, and they are total inspirations to me. And as well, the light bearers that I have counseled, the light bearers and shamans are um, targets for demonic afflictions because they are bringing light to the earth. That is their soul contracts and their purpose for being on earth is to bring the light. And uh, demons will attack them early in life. Uh, many, many, um, sadly, uh, infants are afflicted with demonic possessions uh, in the womb. And, and this causes them to be born with diseases like Down syndrome and autism and Asperger's. Um, to re to restrict them from spreading the light and to inhibit them for life, which it does. Uh, you know, you work with some of these souls. Uh, you know, just um, watch them and deal with them, and they are so beautiful in their ways. But they're inhibited by this cloak of darkness that prevents them from expressing themselves fully and being the light on the earth that they need to do in a very broad scale. But many of these are hum tremendous blessings for those of us that have encountered them in, in life. And, and so they're, they're doing their good, but they are very restricted. And this is, all of these circumstances are worth books and books and books, <laughs> fictional or nonfiction. They are fascinating subjects. And, and there's a tremendous amount of light in this work. And I have been um, very blessed in order to see the light and find the light. And many of these demons want to return to the light because they, they are restricted. And, and it is grueling and very difficult work to be a demon long term. And so I have had the privilege of um, counseling some of these, oh, I mean, not so counseling because they are so much larger than, than I am in their genius that God gave them. But in assisting them, because it takes an earth anchor, a medium to open the gates so that they can rise back in the light. Uh, and it's a very complicated subject that I don't, understand enough about myself uh, <clears throat> but the ascended masters that coach me in this work um, assist me in the counsel and the um, upliftment of the demons through the gate back to the higher realms it's yeah it's a subject i, I can't elaborate on um, a, a grand a grand subject uh, knowledge is power we may lose our fears if we become knowledgeable about things that we are intimidated or frightened of. And this is true in every subject there, there is an existence. So if any of you have felt a gut tug when you started hearing some information about this subject, I would suggest allow yourself to be saturated in information on this subject so that you have the power to release your fears.